As a free stater, what is your goal in general? What is the goal of the free staters? Well, the free state project uh, only exists to move liberty-minded people to New Hampshire from all over the world. Um, so that's really the extent of what the free state project is. It's just simply a, a project to encourage people to come to New Hampshire. Uh, and to get active in, in a variety of different ways. And those ways can include, uh, you know, include protesting as we might be doing today, or outreach, um, perhaps, you know, running for political office, doing civil disobedience, creating media. I mean, there's a variety of different ways one can be active. Uh, but the idea is to get people who are willing to actually do something to interfere. And there are now over 13,000 uh, participants in the Free State Project. About 1,100 of them are already here in New Hampshire. So we're two-thirds of the way to the goal of 20,000 here. Obviously, some people are not waiting until 20,000. Like me, I moved six years ago. Um, so I would be considered anyone who's uh, you know, here now as the Free State Project, as a Free State Project member, would be an early mover. Um, so everyone's an early mover until it reaches 20,000 goal. Where did you live before? Like, how did you find out about this free state program? I was living in Sarasota, Florida, which is where I was born and raised. And uh, I found out online. I don't remember exactly, you know, what channels I, you know, where I, exactly what website I saw it on. But I saw it somewhere online, I think. And this was like a decade ago. Um, and I, it took me about a year to decide to actually sign up because I was kind of, uh, well, being a Florida native. Uh, in, on the little on the skinny side, uh, I was a little bit afraid of uh, the cold. So it took me a while to really kind of get over the idea of uh, being cold for a chance at more freedom. Um, how do you welcome people to the community? Like, how do people find jobs here when they just come on over? Where do they live? How does this work? Um, well, people come over to wherever they want to. I mean, some people find a job before they move. Some people move, then they find a job. I mean, it just depends on folks' financial situation. Um, if you know, if somebody you know doesn't have a whole lot of money, then it might make more sense to find a job before they move. If they've got some money saved up, maybe it makes more sense to make a move and then find a job. But there are resources online. Uh, there's the Shire Society forum, forum.shiresociety.com which has a housing section, it's got a job section. So when you know when somebody sees a job, like a help wanted sign or something like that, they might post up there and let folks know that something's available. Um, you know, there are other forums as well online that people can connect with, like the Free State Project has a forum. Uh, they've got some job info on their website. And these are ways for, you know, resources for people to utilize, besides, you know, the standard newspapers or what other other websites might be out there. And um, I've read something about the pork manors. You know, are those houses that a free senior buys and then rents out to? You know, typically, yeah. That's exactly what that is. Um, and how do the residents of Keene react to you guys? Depends who you ask. I mean, some people are very supportive. Uh, some folks are not so much. You know, some people are mixed. They, they like some of the things that they see, and they like, you know, don't like some of the other things uh, that they see. And some people don't even know we're here. Um, what is your like platform for the elections? Um, if you guys want to be, you want to be elected into the government. I actually say, ran for a state rep this uh, this year. Okay. Um, so my platform was uh, secession from uh, the federal government. That was one thing. Another one was ending victimless crimes. So like ending the war on drugs, for instance, uh, making it so people who haven't hurt anyone aren't being arrested. That was a big one for me. So if you did get elected, what would you, would you try to end government? How would this, I'm confused at how this would work exactly. Well, that's not exactly something you can do overnight, right? right. You can't just push a button and make, uh, make the state disappear. But, um, you know, I would certainly favor any kind of legislation that would roll back government's involvement in, in people's lives. I mean, ultimately, if you're going to have a government, its maximum role should be to protect life, liberty, and, you know, the pursuit of happiness. Uh, we don't see that happening today. Uh, you know, the Keene Police Department here has done drug raids on uh, people's homes over an ounce of marijuana. 
uh, holding people at gunpoint, uh, taking, uh, I was in jail with a guy who was taken out of his bed in the middle of January with snow on the ground, in his boxers, uh, taken out of his bed at uh, you know, the point of a shotgun, and then cuffed outside. I mean, this guy, he actually was a Kent State College student, uh, you know, sold a little bit of pot to some of his uh, fellow students and ended up spending several months in jail as a result of that. I don't think that stuff needs to happen. Uh, there was another guy in jail for a year for driving to work. This was a guy with a family. He was a uh, manager at a restaurant and he was just trying to go to work to uh, you know, feed his family. They arrested him on a habitual offender status and put him in jail for a year. And these aren't unusual stories, they're very typical. The, you know, the state ruins people's lives and I don't appreciate that. How do you think the um, 2012 election went? Well, I mean, terribly for, uh, it would have gone terribly any way it went. I mean, whether it was Mitt Romney or, uh, or Barack Obama, they're both the same. Uh, so there wasn't really, it was more of an illusion of choice, as it usually is. Uh, Mitt Romney, John McCain, Barack Obama, they're all, they all have the same principles. They all come from the same belief system, and that is that it's their right to control people and tell people how to live their lives. So. Anyway, whoever wins, we lose uh, when it comes to the elections. Now, on a local level, things went all right because you know we actually did get some free state project participants elected. Uh, some were re-elected, some were elected for the first time, and some were elected after having missed a missed a term. So that's that's always nice to see. What are your plans for the 2016 election? 2016. Uh, well, for 2014, I'll be running again. Actually, in 2013, I'll be running for city council. Um, so, I mean, we've got plans way before the 2016 elections. So I'm, I'm not even anywhere near 2016 at this point. Maybe we'll be seceded by then. We won't have to worry about the federal government.